This big, beautiful chunk of brass is the Garrett Wade odd job. The entire body is cast brass except for a steel scribing pin and multi-purpose tool that's embedded there. We'll get into the details of that in a minute. And this ruler, which is beach. One face is imperial and the other is metric. It's 12 inches long with two brass edges all along and it lives neatly embedded in the body and is locked in place by that thumb screw. So this tool has a bunch of really useful functions. The way I use it most often is to draw a 90 degree line when I'm doing layout on wood. So I adjust the ruler to whatever length is necessary for the line I'm drawing. In this case, I'm just gonna do four inches and it's pretty easy to give myself a 90 degree line. The other end will give me a 45 degree line. So let's say I'm doing miter layout, so I can do a 45 degree on the left side, but I can also flip it over and do a 45 degree line on the right side. There are a few other functions that I use quite often with this ruler. I use the scribe, which has a nice aggressive pin on it. If I turn it around 90 degrees, then I can actually scribe a line in my wood stock parallel to the edge. I'm not always happy with scribed line in wood. Some days I can see it and I just feel like some days I can't see it. So you can still use this tool to scribe a pencil line parallel to the edge which means drop the ruler back in and I'm using the edge with a little notch in it and in combination with my pencil I can scribe a line that's as bright as the lead in the pencil that I'm using. Whenever I'm mortising it has a really handy mortise feature here I'm in the middle of putting in a one and a half inch mortise in this timber and you can see as a depth gauge, it tells me that I have just a little bit of a ways to go on that. I also use it as a table saw setup tool where I put the ruler on the surface of my table saw and I just bring my blade up till it hits the underside and that gives me my blade height attachment. One of my favorite ways to use this tool is to scribe an arc. In which case, I remove this pin entirely. On this end of the little steel scribe tool is an improvised screwdriver that I use to drive this pivot point out from where it's embedded and protected inside the body. And once I have it out enough, I lock it back in its place. And in combination with the ruler, that becomes my pivot point and gives me a nice smooth motion there. So combined with my pencil, I can strike a nice arc on the wood. Both sides are parallel and they're perfectly square to the base. It means there are a few other setup functions that I can use it for. For example, I can check the squareness of inside corners or combined with the ruler, I can check the squareness of outside corners. And then finally, and this is a little bit of a bonus function, it has two bubbles embedded in the body. You can use either the base or either of the two edges to establish plumb and level surfaces. Such a versatile little tool. 